What's up, guys? Welcome to a new NGR Radio pod and place for season two. I'm here with Ed, and Ed, we're playing one of the shining stars of the Wii U, <laughs> yes! which is now also coming to Switch confirmed by the Nintendo Direct <sighs> in July. Yes! Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Now, I am, uh, I'm, uh, playing on the Wii U gamepad and recording on TV at the same time. Oh, that would make sense if I turned my TV on. I was like, why is the TV delayed? But it's not, because the TV's over here. <laughs> and I'm sitting here <laughs> trying to play on my gamepad. <laughs> well, it's just bad. All right, so, uh, Ed, we're playing Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Yes, uh, one of Nintendo's kind of budget titles at the time. Um, it was a, a Mo in Super Mario 3D World, and it decided to give its own game. A lot of people loved it. Oh, I love this game. I love this game so much. Now, I, I'm starting a new game uh, for Captain Toad, just so you can see the beginning levels of the game. But, uh, yeah, Captain Toad like you said, was this little kind of mini game in Super Mario 3D World, which is coincidentally going to be our next episode, and my favorite Mario game, my favorite 3D Mario game of all time, I think. I, I, gosh, I love, I love Super Mario 3D World so much, dude. Like, Ugh. I like the fact that it felt like Super Mario 64, but still had that kind of linear feel of the 2D Mario games where you could just go, oh, so good. I love it so much. I want a sequel to that for Switch so bad. Like, I don't even care if it's the original. I want a sequel. I want a sequel to Mario 3D World. It is so good. If you guys have a Wii U or 3DS even, because Super Mario 3D Land is pretty good too. Uh, if you have one of those systems, I definitely recommend picking up Super Mario 3D World or Land. Uh, actually, if you have a Switch or a 3DS now, I recommend picking up Captain Toad. Because it has new levels in there, uh, but Ed, how how much did you like Captain Toad Treasure Tracker? I love this game. I bought it uh, the uh, first day it came out. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, I dude, I pre-ordered this game so I like as soon as I was like, oh, Captain Toad's coming to like has its standalone game. I was like, yeah, definitely. Oh. So good. I actually um, made sure that I had the uh, Toad Amiibo for this game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, ha I this was I got the Toad Amiibo as well. I don't remember what the Toad Amiibo did though. Um, I don't know neither. I can actually admit that. Yeah, I just I don't remember what that Amiibo did. It was uh. Man, I just don't remember what that amiibo did. It did something. It did something, but I don't remember. I guess I could scan it right now and figure out what it did. Should I? Do you think I should do that? Uh, yeah. Um. Okay. I want to get. I want to try to get this block because, like, I don't remember what this block did. Oh, there's a shy guy okay. up here, and I don't want to die from a shy guy because that's just embarrassing. Ooh. All right. Ooh, I got a hammer. Right. Yeah. So uh, the, the premise of it, of uh, Super Mario 3D World, is that you kind of got to uh, get these. Uh, I'm going to try to get these coins. It's get these uh, diamonds while also trying to solve the puzzle. Um and World defeat or, enemies. Or toe, uh, Captain toe. Toe. Captain Toad. <laughs> because in Captain Toad, you, you can't uh, you can't jump. Um, the reason why I say that about... Uh, Such a weird concept, a platformer where you can't jump. Right. Because you have to move the camera around. So you use your, your uh, Wii U gamepad or you use uh, the analog control to move it around. Yeah, and you have to, like, as you, uh... Oh, there's the other diamond. Okay. Yeah, and as you, like, rotate the levels, it shows you different parts of the... the uh, 
it shows you different parts of the the world so you can figure out how to get there and it's, oh, it's yes. so good it's so just I, I don't even know how to explain how excited I am that this is coming to Switch. This is the perfect kind of handheld game. And when this game came out, everybody kind of wondered why it didn't wasn't coming to 3DS. You know? Because of uh, how, how great of a kind of like a handheld style game this is. Because it's short. It's like short little puzzles that you can solve in like a 10 to 15 minute sitting. And 3DS kind of seemed like the simple solution for this game, you know? Yes. And and mm-hmm. so, like, it was just this... It was like this weird little thing that, like, oh, this is cool that it's coming to Wii U, but why is it, uh... Why is it not coming to 3DS? And now we finally fi- know that it's coming to 3DS, uh, which is freaking amazing. Oh, no, I fell in the water again. Um, but yeah, we just, we've been wanting to replay this game for a while. And when it got announced for switch, we were like, we have to do this for pod and play. So, oh no. And my favorite thing is, is like when you get hit, like you start out as toad, but when you get hit, you get turned into like mini toad, which is like hilarious because his hat changes colors. Yeah. Ugh. These puzzles are hard. Where are you going? No. There we go. Okay, so... I'm on Toadette, so I'm still on the second chapter. Like, uh, a bonus two, as they call it. So... Yeah, I just I got to the I'm on the uh, second stage because I, I started a new game because I want I want people to see this game kind of from the beginning. Yeah, that's understandable. Oh, this game I think so I got good. all the coins, so I didn't get touch, which I'm happy about. I and bam, I got the star and I got all three diamonds. Yes, nice. I, I, I remember playing this game uh, for like half of the whole day, and I could not stop playing it. Yeah, I remember when I got it, I could like Son and I couldn't stop playing it because this was one of the only games my wife would play with me, you know, and uh, like we couldn't stop playing. And then, like I, I never finished it, but like, and I wish I would have, but I just. I don't know why I didn't finish it. I just didn't, I guess, but. Ooh, there we go. Ooh. Double cherry spirals. And I like how they reuse some of the powers from Mar- from uh, 3D World for this. Too, like, yeah. The double cherries are in. Oh, there's a gold. There's a gold mushroom somewhere, isn't there? There's a gold mushroom in every level, isn't there? Um, not all of them. Okay, well, maybe maybe this is one that I just didn't... Maybe I already got it. Maybe I just don't remember. <laughs> yeah, because I just ran it, I just got a go mushroom. Oh, you have to beat it without destroying the bridge. I destroyed the bridge. Oh, well, we'll move on to the next one. Uh, yeah, so there's always, like, an extra task which is uh oh no I have to I forgot about touching the pe- the gamepad Okay, so this is going to get tricky because I'm touching the gamepad and I don't really remember Okay, so there's a key here. Ooh. I almost died. <laughs> um okay, so we have to unlock This, which is strange. Hmm. Okay, so let's figure out what all these things do. Okay, so there's a door over here. Let's go in here. So that's that's the the thing about puzzle. Like the thing about puzzle games, as I've learned as I've been playing Portal recently, is uh, <laughs> it's 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 really hard to like uh, 
concentrate talking and playing the puzzles at the same time. Uh. Wait, so how does this work? Oh. Alright. That makes sense, I guess. Ooh, I got the key. So this... This can go down here. Look at me, solving puzzles. Hmm. I got that one. So, what does this do? Nope, not what I wanted it to do. Does the gold one move? The gold road, does it move? No. Oh, uh, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. So, we need to do this. So I can get back up here. Whoops. Need to go up the ramp. Be nice. Move the blue one down. Move into here. Move into here. Um. Yeah, the gold one doesn't move, so. Let's see here. It's weird because like it's still using the gyro sensors on the on the on the gamepad, so it's like really hard to figure out what I'm doing. Oh, there we go. So I got I got all three diamonds. Nice. Um. So let's go out here. Nice. Did that. Okay. Okay. Doing good stuff here. Okay. Oh, there we go. Nailed it. <laughs> All right. Let's Got see. It. That puzzle was rough. He's using the gamepad. Is just like ooh. Yeah. See that. That's why I own this. I I just use the analog stick for it. Clear the course in three touches. Who can do that? Mushroom you can do reset. it, boss. No, nah, no, nah, I did not do it. I did not do it. I cleared it in like 30 touches. Oh, these birds. I forgot about these birds. They're the worst. Okay, found a key. Unlucky. Yes. Uh... So, let's 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 talk about this Wii U here for a minute. Why why do we love the Wii U so much? <laughs> I think it provided uh for me it provided games and the experience that was that no one was willing to do. And what I mean by that is that they weren't talking about more uh online multiplayer or they weren't focused on uh you know having these real life issues and uh making you feel like you're in the game it was just pure fun um and then we got it uh and then we got interesting games um with the virtual console, uh, I mean, a virtual console with the eShop, uh, with some of the indie games, and uh, being able to watch like Netflix and Hulu on your gamepad while people were using the TV, uh, like it was really cool to do that and still be able to, you know, do touch screen and play your full game in HD, yeah. Yeah, like for me, it was just Nintendo and HD for the first time. You know, it was we had never we hadn't we had never gotten a Nintendo game in HD before, and I was like, oh, I can't wait to play. Like, they showed that awesome tech demo of of Zelda. You know, uh, the the remember the one where like Link was fighting the Goma in the tempo, and that was like the first time we had ever seen. Uh, Zelda in HD before, which yeah, was really awesome. Like that was like, 
I, I don't even know how to describe how awesome that was. It was just freaking awesome. Uh, I, I, at some point, like, I know we probably won't ever get it, but at some point I would like to see some sort of Zelda game take that approach at one point. Uh, it was just, if you haven't looked it up, just look up Zelda Wii U tech demo. And it was, oh, it was like, I don't even know how to describe it, man. It was, it was ridiculously awesome. Like, I thought it, it was one of the coolest Zelda demos I'd ever seen. And it, it really gave me flashbacks to the GameCube where like, <laughs> look at this. And then we ended up getting, I mean, we got Breath of the Wild, which is clearly one of the best Zelda games ever, but you know, it was just one of those things where you're like, this is what you showed and this is what you gave us type thing. And it was like, I don't want a quick tip. I just want to move to the next puzzle. Right. Uh, it was, uh, it was so good though. Thank it. I loved it. Wait, why can't I move on to the next? Oh, there we go. I guess we'll do a uh, double cherry palace. <clears throat> uh, it just, man, the, the, that Zelda demo was so cool. You walked in and they showed the same scene in dark and light. So like they turned the lights out and it just gave you a whole nother like mood of just, Oh, so good. What else, what else did they show during that kind of initial thing? They showed, uh, what all did they show? I forget what else they showed during that tech demo. Um, they must have showed off Nintendo land. Right, that was like their yeah. big finale. Yeah. Uh, Super I Mario, mean, new Super Mario Brothers U, which I still think is one of the best 2D Mario games ever made. I think the level design is amazing. Uh, but at the same time, like, I everybody was so 2D Mario fatigued at the time, and I was like, well, the only one I've played recently was. Uh, new Super Mario Brothers on the DS so like I'm ready for 2D Mario <laughs> <laughs> and so that was kind of a thing uh, that was just like I don't know I people kind of really ragged on that game for, and I was like but it's it's a 2D Mario game what do you um, what do you expect yeah this, this game is awesome like, and it looks beautiful in motion I, every time I look at that I'm like, yeah. man, this game looks so good. Yeah, dude, Mario, Mario, that ga that game was like, uh, it infuriates me when people say that they don't like that game because it's one of the best Mario games. It's seriously one of the best Mario games. Oh no, this little guy. Why is he, oh he doesn't hurt me? He just. I'm probably supposed to catch him, aren't I? Which I must admit, everybody, I have not finished that game. What Mario 3D or 2D or uh, Super Mario Brothers? You? Yep. Oh, it's so good, man! Bowser's Castle's world is so good. Uh... You're missing out. You should honestly like. You say you say you need to finish all these Wii U games, but you should really try to finish that game. That game is so much fun. I'm actually thinking about going back to play it as like a. I don't know, like a Wii U kind of let's play thing. I just, I think that game is phenomenal. I really do. And I wish more people played it because it deserves to be played. Boop. So. Boop. What's down here? Shall I? Oh, what's in here? Ooh, the other diamond. Nice. What if I turn this way? Nope. Looks like uh looks like I got everything in here. Uh what are what are some of your favorite Wii U games, Ed? Oh, okay. So, uh Of course, Breath of the Wild, um Bayonetta 2, um I always forget that Breath <laughs> of the Wild is a Wii U game. <laughs> always uh, forget. Of, of course, Twilight Princess in um and uh, uh, Wind Waker, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X blew me away. Like, how is the game it, with this art graphics and this scope being done on the system? So, uh, yeah, I mean, to be fair, there was a 17 gig patch you had to download, but still, it was 
awesome. Xenoblade, dude, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is awesome. Yes. Um, Where's this other diamond? Oh, he's, that guy's probably got it. Oh no, and I already dropped down. Dang it. There's gotta be a way. Get back up there. No, nope, it doesn't look like it. Oh well. I don't need to find the other diamond to complete this let's play. Okay. Uh. Yeah, uh. I can tell you all course, mine. Of course, Shovel Knight. Oh, Shovel Knight, so good. Oh, Shovel Knight, so good. Oh, man, this this might be a perfect time to tease what we're doing after Pod and Play Season 2. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, uh, Pod and Play, after uh, Season 2 is over of Pod and Play, uh, Ed and I are going to take a look at some of the uh, nindies that deserve to be recognized. And yes, we're going to probably play them primarily on on uh, Nintendo platforms, but we <laughs> we will tell you if it's on another system. Uh, just because... That like, was so funny. <laughs> there's, I mean, there's a lot of Nindies, or there's a lot of indie games that deserve to be recognized, right? And, yes. and you know, sometimes they don't get the, the most recognition, like Blossom Tales, for example. If you like A Link to the Past, you should probably be playing Blossom Tales. Like, it's freaking awesome. Uh, and then Shovel Knight, obviously. I just want to play Shovel Knight for funsies, but... Ah, Shovel Knight's so good, dude. Shovel Knight's so good. It's, the... it's so good. Uh, and another game I think we should take a look at, too, which I was thinking about, is Ukulele. Ooh, yes. Just because, like, that game is so, like, influenced by old school, old school like, N64 Nintendo that, like, we can't not show it. So, oh, maybe that's how I get over there. Uh, Which is because I own it on Xbox One. I know. Which is fine. You can play it on Xbox One. I'll have to get it by then, but I'll be able to get it by then. Uh, what else? Actually, I could probably get it now. But I'm trying to wait because tonight, Sana and I are having a date night. We're trying to get as much stuff in before the baby comes. Which... Actually, by the time... Wait, I don't know when this episode airs. No. It'll be... A, not here yet. Yeah. We're trying to get as much done before the baby comes that we can, because uh, obviously when a baby's here, you're not going to be able to do the things that you want to do. <laughs> which is why... Pretty much. Which is why I'm, like, buying all these games on the Switch, because, like, if I'm watching the baby... Like, if I have to, like, watch the baby or whatever, and it's sleeping, I am... Like, I can't, like... I'm going to need to be in the same room and be paying attention and everything, which, by the way, all this, all this, all the game room right here, it's going to, it's going to be gone for a while unless we miraculously move. Uh, swipe to spin the wheel. Ooh, there's a wheel on my thing. I'm swiping. Uh, but I'm actually really excited, uh, because, like, I, I'm starting, like, it's not, I don't want to say it's forcing me to draw again, but it's, like, it's, uh, I've started drawing again to design stuff for the baby's room, and, uh, part of it is, I'm doing, what I'm doing is Nintendo and, and Disney-themed, like, characters not nintendo but just like video game and and stuff that i enjoy but like uh you know i i want to make sure she's like doing doing like or into like the i don't want to say the right things but like having that stuff there is gonna be she's gonna be influenced by it, the stuff that's around her and i want to make sure like she, I just want her to be excited for the things that I'm excited for. <laughs> uh, yes. Which, you know, when they're babies, you can kind of fudge that stuff a little bit, but... Uh, oh, no. Did I not break the enough blocks? Dang it. I didn't break enough blocks. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't die. No. Go away, shy guy. I don't like you. Uh... Where is 
I didn't break enough blocks. No. Dang it. That's all right. It's fine. Whatever. I'm just going to try to finish the level. I don't have time for all these diamonds. I just want people to see the game. Ah! Oh, I did it. Did you see that? Did you see it? Ooh, a mushroom. Nice. Uh, so I'm doing like, like st strong female Disney characters. Like I, I'm doing, um, a few of those and, ah! some, and some Disney inspired like animals and stuff for the broom. And then uh -huh. I'm going to have Nintendo care or video game characters like Samus and, and Aloy and just characters like that kind of drawn and hanging out. Oh no. Just get me the star. I'm trapped between two shy guys. Run away. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Oh, I died. I died. Oh, no. I died. I died. Oh, no. I'm back in the beginning. <laughs> Puzzle games are hard when you're talking. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm going to do like... Lara, Lara Croft and Aloy and uh, Zelda and like cool video game characters just you know that kind of stuff and kind of like a like a kid friendly fashion you know not, yeah. not just like a uh, how they are but like I'm going to try to do some cool kid friendly designs and like I want her to have characters to look up to when she's ready to play games and stuff. And I want her yes. to know, like, which, like, like, don't get me wrong, Princess Peach is great and everything, but I don't want her to think, like, I want her to be able to have her own voice at some point. You know, like, uh, strong females to look up to and not, like, I don't want her to... Dang, Nevit! Like, I want her to watch Disney movies like Moana and Wreck-It Ralph and... and uh, what were some of the other ones we were deciding on? I don't want her to watch, like... I mean, she'll watch them, but I don't want her to think, like, oh, Little Mermaid is the way you're supposed to be when you're a woman, or, like, a damsel in distress princess or anything, you know? I want her to watch uh, movies that are going to, like, inspire her to do something great. Uh, Brave was another example. Like, we wanted to do Brave, and... uh. Incredibles and stuff like that. So, uh, I've got a lot of work to do, but I think it's going to be worth it. I think it's going to be cool. Yes. I'm, I'm very excited for that. Oh, crud. Uh, I'm excited to do uh, video game inspired ones too. Like, those are the ones I'm most excited for. But don't tell my wife. Uh,. Cause Son and Son and like, I don't want our kids playing video games all the time. I'm like, why? I turned out fine. <laughs> so, but it'll uh -huh. it'll be fun. Uh, I'm trying to. Oh, back to my my point or something. What I was trying to say <laughs> earlier was, uh, I could probably buy place. ukulele now, but I'm trying. We're going. We're having date night tonight, and uh, I'm trying to not spend all my money at once. <laughs> so I'll probably get it sometime in the near future, though, because I really do want to play that game, which sucks because that game was on sale like two weeks ago. It was like twenty three ninety nine somewhere, and I was like, man. Okay, so there. I really, <coughs> hope, I really hope Nintendo reaches out to Phil Spencer and gets Banjo and Kazooie in... in this game by the way and Smash, Smash. By, the, by the way I just like I don't know I think they fit and, and I know we talk about I know we talk about the characters we want in Smash all the time but Banjo Banjo and Kazooie make so much sense their move set their tie, ties to Nintendo and Nintendo 64 and everything like they just they fit you know Banjo Kazooie and Shovel Knight, I'll be good. I'll be good. Those are the only two characters I want. And you know, even if Shovel Knight sucks in that game, I'm gonna be him. <laughs> you know, yeah. you know, I'm gonna be him. <laughs> so, uh, this game, 
man, this game is rough. This game is just like, ah, so good though. I can't wait for this to be on Switch. I wonder how the touchscreen stuff is going to work because there's a lot of touchscreen stuff on here. You know? Yeah. Like there's a like right now. I'm. I wonder if they'll just tie that to like the right stick or whatever. This touchscreen on the Wii U sucks so bad. <laughs> I think it's just because it's dirty. Yeah, I, I gotta clean my too. Uh, I just want to go my, through my list of games. Uh, I, I sorry everybody. I, I I'll come back to tra- uh, cat the toe. Uh. You know what else we should look at? Honestly, what other game we should look at at some point, and maybe we'll do that instead of like instead of Breath of the Wild is something like either Star Fox Zero. I think I think we should look at Star Fox Zero at some point. Yeah, that's the game I have not started yet. Uh, just because, like, I want to. Why? What am I doing? Why? Can I talk to you? Can I like? Oh, I can zoom in. Nice. If you press X, you can zoom in. <laughs> I had no idea. Thanks, uh, game. Oh, man. Okay, Dude, so, so I good. kind of want to go through my list of indies that I have on my Wii U. So, and, <laughs> and it's so funny because I titled it, uh, you guys probably can't see this, but Corey, I titled it Nindies <laughs> for, my, for my file. Nice. So, for my Nindies, I have Paper Monsters We Cut, Scram Kitty and His Buddy on Rails, Shantae and the Pirate's Curse, Shovel Knight, NES Remix 2, Stealth Inc. 2, A Game of Clones, Child of Light, Mighty, For- Mighty Switch Force, Two and Mighty Switch Force Hyperdrive Edition, Trying to Director's Cut, Badland Game of the Year Edition, and then there were some free preview games for E3. Like when you bought them, uh, when you got the preview, if you end up buying the game, you get ten percent off. Um, so um, I got Adventures of Pip by, um, uh, I mean, Chess Adventures of Pip, Never Alone, uh, Kisima and. Inc- Ingetuna, I wonder. Uh, Tesla Grad, Freedom Planet, Affordable Space Adventure, and Citizens of Earth. Um, nice. Um, man, you didn't say Guacamole, which is something we should look at. Do you not have Guacamole on there? No, because I have it on my PS3. Ah. Gotcha. So I didn't, uh, but that's the original version, not the hyper, uh, hyper one, which that needs to be on Switch. So, uh, my NES collection, I have Double Dragon 2, The Revenge, Super Mario Brothers 2, Earthbound Beginners, and The Legend of Zelda. Uh, oh, my, <laughs> my Super NES consists of Donkey Kong Country, Earthbound, Link to the Past, Kirby Superstar, Axel A, and Super Mario World. Uh, my GBA is uh, Metroid Fusion, Diminished Cap, Circle, Castlevania Circle of the Moon, and Harmony of Dissonance, and uh, Aria Sorrow. Uh, Mario Luigi Superstar Saga, Super Mario Vents 3, Yoshi's Island, Golden Sun, and Metroid Zero Mission. Uh, my, Wii, my Wii games that I brought digitally was Metroid Prime Trilogy. Uh, my Wii U, di- <laughs> my Wii U digital games is Pikmin 3, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, and Dark Siders 2, with Fiddle Frame made of the Black Water the first episode. Uh, and then I got the Mega Man series, uh, Mega Man X, X2, X3, Mega Man 2, 3, 5, and 6. And then uh, Super Mario Brothers 3 is this um. Uh, and that's all the digital stuff that I own on my Wii U. With the Bayonetta 2 demo. I wonder something. What'd you do, Ed? What'd you do? What did you do? Oh, dang it. 
What'd you do? The Wii U chat is <laughs> no longer available. Yeah. Mm. Man, the touchscreen on this on the Wii U just is not good. <laughs> I really need. I I just. I think I just need to clean my <laughs> gamepad because it's like. I don't know. It's just. It's rough. But. Man, yeah, dude. I'm I'm excited for some nin playing some nindies just because like. Oh no! I don't want to get it. <laughs> I don't get it. I only got like 13 gigabytes left for my storage space. What's that? Okay, well, we did that. We're gonna... <laughs> Ooh, that was rough. I don't even know if that was worth it. Where's the star? Wow. So let's see, Mark Kart 8, Captain Toad, Breath of the Wild, Jante, Half Genie Hero, Super Mario Maker, Harbor Warrior, Splatoon, Call of Duty Ghost, Batman, Smash, Tropical Freeze, Splinter Cell, Blacklist, Zombie U, Squibber Nossum, Mask, uh, what's on my... Scribble knots is fun. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> run away. Toad, run. <laughs> I don't I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> I seriously have no idea what I'm doing. Uh well, how do I get over there? Ah, uh, Paper Mario Color Splash, Tokyo Mirage Session, Kirby and the Rainbow Coast, Perkin, oh, Yoshi's Woolly World, Twilight, uh, Xeno. Yeah, that's on my external. Oh. And I don't okay. know what to do. I don't know where to go. I'm so you gotta lost. get the star. I don't know where the star is. You gotta move the board around. I am. I don't see it anywhere. <laughs> I'm on the lava, the lava level, with the with the the bombs or the not the bombs, the uh, bullet bills. I'm just like I don't oh. know where. I don't know where to go. I'm so lost. <laughs> Good luck with that, dude. Uh, where are you? Yeah. <sighs> oh, I'm dead. Whoops. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> uh, well, we're going to give this level one more shot And then I think we're going to call it an episode Where is the star? I'm I'm so confused right now okay, Usually see. you can see the star But I think it has something to do with Yeah Battle Tower Blitz. And now I gotta rescue Captain Toad. Okay, there's that, but how do I... How do I... I guess I'm just kind of... That was close. But we want you there, because I did cut those. We want you to blow up those blocks over there. But then what does that do for... There's got to be something else I'm missing here. Yeah. 
don't know where to go. I'm doing terribly right now. <laughs> I just want you to know that. <laughs> oh, there's like a there's a hidden stairway in here. What's in here? What's in here? Yeah, to forgive me, I'm uh, handling some business. No, it's fine. <laughs> I'm just hanging out, playing Pretty some much. Captain Toad. Everybody's enjoying me fail, I'm sure, which is great. Ooh, there's one of these mushrooms. Nice. And then that's open. Okay. So, that bullet bill goes there. But, ah. Uh, we must turn bullet bill this way. That doesn't make sense. Why would it go that way? There's, there's nothing it can possibly do over there. If we turn it this way, maybe it'll blow up that thing. No, that doesn't make sense either. How do we blow up those those blocks? Oh, hold on. No, that doesn't make sense either. How do I break those blocks? That doesn't make sense. Those. But that that makes sense. So I guess I can go up these stairs right here. Walk through. What does this do? Oh <laughs> there's the star. Look at me. Walk down these stairs. Collect these coins. And walk up this ramp. Look at me solving puzzles. Bam. Captain Toad. Yes. Captain Toad. Superstar. Looking at me playing really far in 42 minutes of recording. I got it. Wait. Uh. This is what I just did, right? Yeah. King of Pyro Puff Peak. Oh, boss fight. This looks like a level Ooh. we can end on. Boss fight. King of Pyro yes. Puff Peak. Whatever that means. So, okay, this is going to be the level we end on here. Uh, so the boss battles are really difficult in this game just because they're puzzles and you can't attack them like they're, like, uh, you have to exactly. solve the puzzle pretty much. And uh, I gotta figure out what the puzzle is here. And the walls, like this guy, the walls move. Oh boy, oh boy. Run away. Ooh. Okay. Oh, got it. I see now. Okay, there we go. Run. Run, Toad. So, this is this, this, this guy. I don't know who he is, but this is... And, like, not only do you have to, like, run away from his stuff, but, like, oh, gosh. But the lava of the floor is rising, so you have to, like, keep moving, <laughs> right. which is super scary. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Okay. Stop it. Lava, you stop. You stop. You stop it. Oh no. Ah. Nice. Good job, me. I don't know what he's doing, but he's very ferocious looking. Run, Toad. Run. Run! Oh no! No, I fell in the lava! <coughs> to oh, be fair, I, wasn't, I was not aware that that floor could fall that was a that was a wrinkle that's what we call in the video game biz a wrinkle not a wrinkle of time no i heard that movie was really bad did you watch it did you see it nope yeah me neither. ah 
Sorry, Oprah. I did not go support your movie. <laughs> you get a movie. You get a movie. Everybody gets a movie. I could be Oprah. Right? Uh, hate you, Hammer Bros. Ah! Ah! Dang, Nevit. Shouldn't talk about Matt and Moose like that. Ah! Rats. Just kidding. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Not what I needed you to be, game, but okay. How am I supposed to get around that? Run, Toad. Run, Baby Toad. Baby Toad! Oh, I got that. I got it. Jump! Yeah! Nailed it. See, that's how you do a boss fight right there, Ed. Yes! Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Do, 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 do. And that, my friends, is how you end Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker Pot and Play. Right, Ed? Right? Yes. Yeah. So, anyways, this has been a Pot and Play Season 2 episode here on NGR Radio. Me and Ed do one every Saturday for 12 episodes. This was episode 7, I believe. Uh, our next episode... We're taking a look at the game that this game was in, in Super Mario 3D World. So, Ed, I'm super <laughs> excited for that. Yes. Stay tuned to that for next Saturday. Subscribe here on YouTube.com slash NGR Radio or go to NGR uh, I need to organize the menus better on that website now that we have so many things going on uh, in terms of, of YouTube shows. So... Uh, check out Ed's podcast, Optional Opinion. Check out Nintendo Power Block and our family of shows here on NGR Radio. And until next Saturday, keep on playing. Bye, everybody. <laughs>